Happy Halloween, players! This week we get Monstrous with Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. When some playboy named Walton peeps some hood named Frankenstein in the North Pole, they begin conversating and Frankie starts spilling his life story. As a young and Victor Frankenstein only got two things on his mind. Science, which he calls natural philosophy, and his cousin Elizabeth's banging boots hang. Mm -mm -mm. In college, Victor gets so pro at the science game that he gets drunk off the power and decides it's time to try and create new life. The result of Victor's experiment is a busted up monster so damn fugly that Victor wigs out and trucks it straight out of town. Later, the monster rolls up on Victor while he's chilling and gives him the lowdown on what he's been up to. See. After escaping from Victor's stuffy ass crib, the monster posts up in some village where he starts secretly creeping on one of the families. The monster learns all sorts of shit from these homies, like how to read and communicate, but none of that fixes the fact that he lonely as shit. So he decides he's gonna try to chill with these ballers. But as soon as they catch a glance at his janky ass mug, they all tweak out and get the hell out of Dodge. Then the monster say Victor gotta build him a nappy woman monster that he gonna take to the wilds of South America where they won't bother nobody. At first my boy Victor thinks it's a solid idea, but then he starts thinking, hold up, what if they start getting freaky and make little monster babies? Oh, hell no. Since Victor went back on his word, the monster gets all torn up and straight chokes a bitch. Victor's bride Elizabeth. So Victor decides he gonna spend the rest of his days searching the earth to stomp that scrub. But it's a search Victor don't get to finish cause he dies chasing his creation. When the monster finds him laying in chalk, he realizes that he's lonelier than ever, and all that's left for him is death. Say dog, listen up and let me school you on this book's subtitle, The Modern Prometheus, which serving up some real talk on the similarities between Victor and the Titan Prometheus. In Greek myth, my homie Promy straight molded human beings out of some clay. And in certain stories, Prometheus was jonesing to give man a little taste of that heavenly fire. When he boosted it from the gods, Zeus started tripping hardcore. Just like that G'd up Titan, Victor jacks fire from the sky that not only bringing a plague down on himself, but everybody in the hood. But why is everybody having to ride this beef? Cause Victor was chasing knowledge at the cost of everything else. Just like Adam when he claiming his five finger discount from the tree of knowledge. And the biblical illusions don't stop there son. As the original gangster of the human race, Adam wakes up in Eden, is given a banging honey by his creator, and is ultimately kicked out of paradise. But Frankenstein's monster, as the first of his kind, wakes up in some broke ass crib with body parts slung around, watches his woman get ripped apart by his creator, and ain't never gonna find no paradise. Sucks to be this fool. And it's exactly all this bunk ass job that leads the monster to act like Milton Satan from Paradise Lost. One of the only books the monster has ever read. Check it. I had cast off all feeling, subdued all anguish, to riot in the excess of my despair. Evil henceforth became my good. So farewell hope, and with hope farewell fear. Farewell remorse, all good to me is lost. Evil be thou my good. But the monster ain't the only one slanging them dark deeds. Nah, son, Victor sipping the same Kool-Aid. Not only do they both waste each other's bitty, but they handing out the same street justice, vengeance. And when it's all said and done, Frankenstein and his monster ain't so different. All them blurry ethical lines point to the main thematic question up in here. Are we inherently good or evil? Are people driven to murder because of society's shit? Or is it written from day one that a player gonna be a cold hearted killer? And if so, who's to blame? The monster or the creator? Yo, thanks for keeping it OG with your boy Sparky Sweets. Subscribe and tune in next week. Happy Halloween, bitches.